Hey, this is Dave from Unipro. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to live stream into Facebook groups using third-party apps like Zoom, StreamYard, and Restream. And this is gonna work for you after April 2024 when Facebook is shutting down group API access to these third-party apps that they typically rely upon to stream into your Facebook group. So if you've heard that you're no longer gonna be able to stream into your Facebook group using apps like Zoom, don't worry, there is a workaround and I'm gonna show you exactly the steps to take so that you can continue streaming into your Facebook group as per usual. Let's dive in. So if you have a Facebook group and one of the ways that you nurture members in your Facebook group is by doing live trainings or live streams in your Facebook group, perhaps you've heard the news that Facebook is shutting down something called a group API. And this API is basically a way for third-party apps like Zoom to access important information about your Facebook group. That's being shut down. You can see here, here's the notification from Facebook. It says, Facebook is deprecating Facebook group APIs. So as of April, 2024, no longer will third-party apps like Zoom or StreamYard or Restream be able to function inside Facebook groups the way they once did. And this might seem like a really big deal to you if you use your Facebook group to grow your business like I do. And I'm gonna show you some examples of some of the third-party apps that are no longer gonna be able to work inside your Facebook group. So I'm over here in one of my Facebook groups. This is called Audience and Influence, New Ways to Gain Massive Engagement on Facebook. I'm gonna go over to, I want the group settings. When I scroll down here, group settings. And then if you scroll down to the bottom of this list, you're gonna see something here that says apps and I'm gonna click on the pencil icon and you can see I've got an app added here, restream.io. We're gonna come back to this in a second. I'm gonna show you how to use this app. But if I click on add apps, you're gonna see all the different third-party apps that rely on Facebook's group API to connect with your Facebook group and to provide some sort of functionality for you inside your group. So I'm gonna do a search. Maybe you're using Zoom inside your Facebook group and that's how you go live inside your Facebook group. You can see here, this is the Zoom app that connects with the Facebook group API and allows you to go live via Zoom. Maybe you stream through another popular third-party app called StreamYard, so I'm gonna search that. Maybe you have this installed inside your Facebook group. And this app is no longer gonna work after April 2024. As you saw a second ago, the app that I use right now to stream into my Facebook groups is called Restream, and it's no longer gonna work. There is a workaround, I'm gonna show you that in a second. But there is another type of app that's also being affected as Facebook deprecates the Facebook group API, and that's apps that do posting on your behalf. So I'm gonna show you a very popular example here you're probably familiar with, or maybe you've already installed and used Hootsuite inside your Facebook group. That is no longer gonna work after Facebook deprecates the group API. So when you hear this, you hear that all these third-party apps are no longer gonna work inside your Facebook group. Maybe this is scary, maybe you think, well, it's time to jump ship, I'm done with Facebook groups. And in reality, there's probably two good reasons why Facebook is doing this. And then we're gonna look at some solutions, what you can do so that your business isn't interrupted. So the first reason Facebook may be deprecating its Facebook group API is for your security and the security of your members. And if we just take a look at all the third-party apps that are right now using Facebook's group API to extract information from your Facebook group, if we scroll through here, you've probably never heard of most of these. I know I certainly haven't. And almost guaranteed there are some spammy third-party apps in here that could put the safety and security of your group members in jeopardy. And it's highly likely that Facebook wants to crack down on some of these third-party apps. And so it's removing the access to their API for Facebook groups to these third-party apps so these apps can't spam anyone, so they can't take information from your group members and use them for negative purposes, use them for harmful purposes. And so this is a good thing. Facebook is increasing security. It's increasing the safety of your group members by removing access to its Facebook group API. That's one likely reason why it's doing it. The second likely reason is that Facebook is probably developing a lot of internal solutions that right now third-party apps are being relied upon. So as an example, we're gonna be talking about streaming into your Facebook group. It's quite likely that Facebook's building its own tools that will allow you to stream inside your Facebook group with more control and more options and more features Things that right now you're relying upon third-party apps and quite likely having to pay third-party apps in order to get access to. Facebook's probably building some of those features into Facebook groups so you don't have to pay a third-party app to gain that access. And again, this is a good thing, but what can you do right now when your third-party apps are gonna stop working and Facebook hasn't yet released its own version of those types of apps? Well, that's what we're gonna go through right now. And first, I wanna quickly address this one here. So going back to Hootsuite or any other post scheduling tools that you might use to load up a whole bunch of pieces of content and have them deliver those pieces of content into your Facebook group. Here's what I suggest you do. Stop using third-party apps to post on your behalf. Instead, post yourself. Why would I say this? Well, you might've seen research like this. This says a brief summary of results says that third-party tools don't seem to negatively affect the reach of posts. 
And this article here is going on to say that if you use third-party apps like Hootsuite, or in this example, it's from a company called Buffer that maybe you've used, they're basically saying that if you use their tools, your posts are gonna be seen by just as many people as if you post natively. You go onto Facebook and you actually post manually. And while that research might be very encouraging, you need to take this research with a grain of salt. Most published research that draws conclusions like this that says it's okay to use third-party apps, where did that research come from? It came from the third-party apps. And again, in this example here, it's Buffer, a third-party app that wants you to use Buffer to post inside your Facebook group. They're saying, yeah, use our app. It's just as good as if you posted manually. However, after reading a whole lot of research on the topic and doing many tests myself, I disagree with this conclusion. If you go and post manually inside your group, not only are you likely to get your posts seen by more people, but it's also creating a closer connection. You're the one that's actually there posting. You in real time are gonna be getting feedback from your group members. Instead of having a third party app like Hootsuite or Buffer, schedule posts out in advance. And when those posts go live, you probably aren't even aware that they're being posted. That's actually creating a disconnect between you and your audience, the exact opposite thing that you wanna do. So if you're relying on a third-party app to post inside your Facebook group, stop using that app. Instead, I recommend you do something like this. I'm gonna show you over here. This is a monthly content calendar that I create every single month and it tells me what to post on my profile inside my groups, what to send to my email list. And this is simply what I follow. Every single month I go day by day and manually post on Facebook because I know that's gonna give me the best reach for my posts and it's also gonna keep me in close connection with my audience, which helps me build better relationships. And that's what business is all about. So that's what I recommend for you as well. That covers third-party apps that are used for posting on your behalf. But now let's talk about streaming apps because I know that's what you're interested in. So the traditional method of streaming into your Facebook group looks something like this. You go over to the group apps and you'd install an app. I'm gonna find the Zoom app. You click on the Zoom app, you'd add that to your group, and then you'd go over to that third-party app. So I'm gonna pull up Zoom here, and imagine that you're going live on Zoom. You'd go and click on the three dots here. You'd tell Zoom that you wanna go live on Facebook, and then Zoom's gonna pull up some options, and you can see here it says, choose where to post your Zoom meeting. And traditionally, you click on this, and you'd say, share into your group. And then Zoom will give you an option to choose the group that you wanna live stream into. This is the method that's using the Facebook group API that's being done away with, so you won't be able to follow this method anymore. However, there still are two ways that you can live stream into your Facebook group. Here's the simplest. I'm gonna go over back to my audience and influence group. I'm gonna click on a post, so I'm gonna create a post here. I'm gonna click on the three dots for the types of posts that are available, and then I'm gonna choose live video. And I can go directly live into my Facebook group simply by doing it through Facebook itself. Simply click on go live here. You'll get a bunch of options here, and then you can go live. Now I'm gonna make a note here of this right here. You'll see the streaming software option under select a video source. And I'm gonna click on this, and you'll see that that reveals something called a stream key. This is gonna be important. We're gonna come back to this in just a second. But what you need to know right now is that you can go live directly in your Facebook group simply by creating a Facebook Live post, as I just showed. And while we're talking about Facebook groups, if you have a Facebook group and you'd like to fill your group up with more leads every single day, I've got an awesome resource that walks you through the exact three steps that we use to add thousands and thousands of members to all of our Facebook groups. This works for any business, works for any niche. I'll put a link in the description. You can download the resource and start following the steps to grow your group very quickly. That's the first strategy is just going live directly inside the Facebook app. The second strategy to go live inside your Facebook group that will allow you to use your favorite third-party apps is using something called RTMP, which stands for Real-Time Messaging Protocol Streaming. And basically what RTMP allows you to do is it allows you to connect a third-party app to your Facebook group without relying on the Facebook group API that's being shut down. So let me show you how to set this up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to a test Facebook group of mine, and you can do the same thing. Just go over to your Facebook group, and then what you wanna do is up here here in the URL bar is you want to go to the end of the URL of your Facebook group and then you're going to type forward slash events plural events hit enter and that's going to take you over to your events page that looks something like this go to create an event and then I'm going to walk you through the steps here that allow you to create an event where you'll be live streaming directly into your Facebook group through a third-party app so I'm just going to call this test event and I'm just gonna set a date, a time. Here are the really important settings here. You wanna make sure that this is set to a virtual event, and then you wanna choose Facebook Live as the event type. Then down here, you can put in your details here. So I'm just gonna say details for event, they go here and I'm gonna click on create the event. And that's gonna allow your Facebook group members to get details for your live stream. It's also gonna allow them to access your live stream. I'm gonna show you how this works right now. So I'm back over inside my group here and you can see that I've got this event, test event is happening tomorrow. I'm gonna click on the event 
And then you're gonna notice up here, there's a button here that says set up live video. This is where you wanna go next. So I'm gonna click on set up live video. And it's gonna take me over to a settings page where I can choose the settings for the live video that's gonna happen during this event. And right now you can see that I've got this select a video source that we just looked at a second ago. Right now it's set to webcam. Here's where I wanna move over to streaming software. Now the streaming software gives me something called a stream key. And this stream key is a way for your third party software to still stream into your group. And if you wanna see the exact steps for whatever software you use, here's what I recommend you do. Go over to Google and in the Google search type this. Here I've got RTMP, that's the type of streaming method we're using, RTMP streaming and then put in the software that you're trying to use. So imagine you're trying to live stream Zoom into your Facebook group. And let's go ahead and search this. Then in the Google results, you're gonna find how to RTMP stream using whatever third-party app it is that you wanna use. So here's the example for Zoom. I'll go over to that article and you can see here, this allows you to use Zoom to RTMP stream into Facebook groups. I personally use Restream, so I'm gonna walk you through those steps right now. So if you go into your third-party streaming software, you wanna be able to set up a custom destination. So you basically need to be able to tell that third-party software where your stream is gonna end up. And in this case, Restream, it calls it destination. So I'm gonna click on edit destinations and you'll see I've already set one up right here, but I'll show you the settings here. I want Restream to call me Dave Smith as I stream into my Facebook group. And then I need to enter an RTMP URL. And here's the URL right here. This is the one that works for Restream that allows Facebook and Restream to connect without using Facebook's group API. So if you're using Restream, you can use this exact same URL. If you're using some other third-party streaming software, like I showed you, go Google search it. You'll find instructions on how to walk through these steps specifically for your third-party software. And then from here, the final step is Restream wants me to give a stream key. And this is basically proof from Facebook that I'm actually the admin of the group, that I actually should be allowed to stream into that group. Well, as we already looked at, we've got a streaming key right here. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna copy this streaming key. I'm gonna go over to Restream and then I'll paste in the most recent one and I'm gonna click on save. And that's it, I've now connected Restream and Facebook so that I can use Restream to go live directly in my Facebook group. Let's take a look. I'm gonna click out of the destinations and then I'm gonna go into Stream with Studio. So this is actually the streaming room built into Restream. And you can see here, I've got my name, Dave Smith. I'll click OK. And now you can use all the settings, all the features of your third-party app. So over in here, one of the things that I like to use in Restream is captions. And you can see I've got all these captions built in for my stream. And I can go through and change these captions as I present on my live stream, just as I like to do. You can do the exact same thing. Use all the features that you typically would use. Now when it comes time to actually stream into your Facebook group, it's very simple. All you're gonna do is click on Go Live inside your third-party app. And that starts sending the stream from that app into your Facebook group. Now, I'm gonna go over to my Facebook group here, over into the event, and you'll see here, it says it's connecting live. And I'm now ready to go live. There's just two more things that I need to do before the live stream actually starts showing up inside my Facebook group. The first thing is right here, this is required to give a title and description of what your live stream is all about. So I'm gonna click on this, and I'm just gonna say this is a test live stream and then I'm going to put that in the description as well. So you're going to save that and then the final step is right down here. It's telling Facebook, okay I've got this live stream coming in from Restream from my third party app. Now make it live inside my group. I'm going to click on that. Facebook's going to take a few seconds to make the connection and you can see now that the live stream is actually happening. You'll see that this button turns red. It says end live video and you'll see that my video pops up here showing that it's actually streaming over inside my Facebook group. Now, let's go take a look. We'll go look inside the Facebook group just to make sure that it's actually live streaming there. So I'm gonna go back over to my test group and lo and behold, there I am right now, live streaming into my Facebook group. And it works like a charm. You'll be able to access all the features from your third-party app with two exceptions. The first exception is over here. Typically when I'm in my Restream app, up here in the top left-hand corner, I'll see how many people are live with me on this stream. And that live counter is only available when you connect a third-party app through Facebook's API. So when you use this workaround method that I just showed you, you're not gonna see the live counter here. In that case, you're gonna to need to go actually into the group and you'll see a live counter on your live video inside your Facebook group. The second thing that you won't see inside your app when you use this workaround is over here. I'm gonna go over here to my chat. In many third-party streaming apps, they display a chat here that shows the comments inside your Facebook group that people are commenting as you're going live. And you'll notice that when you use this workaround method, the comments, the chat, it doesn't show up here. So again, you're gonna to need to have your Facebook group open and you'll be able to see the comments happening real time inside your Facebook group right below your live stream. So in summary, Facebook groups, they're alive and well. Facebook is removing access to its Facebook group API. 
likely for improved security and likely because it has something better on the horizon that's gonna give us better tools natively built into the Facebook app. But in the meantime, you can certainly go live using your favorite third-party streaming app using the method that I just showed you called RTMP streaming that allow you to do live videos inside your Facebook group. And this is the exact method that I use for my most recent live stream in one of my Facebook groups. And you can see here, this particular live stream inside my Facebook group got 116 likes, over a thousand comments. Let's take a look at some insights here. It got nearly 3,000 of our group members engaged. So clearly this method works and it's the method that I'm using. But I also have a secret weapon that'll allow you to get tons of engagement on all your live trainings. And in fact, on all your posts. And that secret weapon is called Unipro. Unipro is a tool that goes out onto Facebook. It finds your ideal leads. It brings those leads over to your audience. It helps nurture those leads. It makes sure those leads see your content, including live videos. It starts conversations with those leads and it helps turn those leads into paying customers and clients for your business. And if you're using Facebook to build your business online, you've got to check out Unipro. Go over to unipro.com. I know you're going to love it. That's what I got for you in this video, all about live streaming into your Facebook group. If this was helpful, give it a like. And if you have any questions or comments about how to make this work inside your group, leave those below. I'm happy to help out. And again, if you're building an online business and you're using Facebook, you got to check out Unipro. Go over to unipro.com. It's been a game changer for my business. I know it will be for you as well. Thanks for checking out this video. Can't wait to see you in the next video.